Namaste. Good evening, all. I am Vijaya Hariharan, one of the senior therapists with Yoga Bharati. So today's session, I'm sure all of us are excited to know more about the spine, how it works, and why keeping the spine healthy is important. So let us sit comfortably and start the session with a prayer. Wherever you are sitting, sit tall with your eyes closed. Fingers in chin mudra. Bring the awareness to the breath. Observe the normal breathing. Now let us start the session with three rounds of Omkara. Each time you breathe in, as you breathe out, chant Om. Feel the calmness after the chanting before we start chant the second and the third round all together. Breathe in. Om. Bring the palms together, Namaskara Mudra, Omkara and the prayer all together. Om Sahana Vavatu, Sahana Bunaktu, Sahavir Yankaravahai, Tejasvinavadi Tamastuma Vidya. Visha Bahai Om Shanti 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 Gently bow down, taking the blessings from the God of your choice, the higher reality. Inhale, come up, exhale, gently release, eyes gently open. So welcome all again to this session on the anatomy of spine, Meru Danda Rachana by Dr. Mayur Kaku. Now, some of you are new to Yoga Bharati. So Yoga Bharati is a registered uh, non-profit trust. It started in Bangalore in 2013. We are our Yoga Bharati in US also, which was started much earlier by a few enthusiastic uh, Indians who were in the US way back in 2000. Our mentor Raghuram Ji was instrumental again in bringing, ensuring that we have a chapter in Bangalore. So since 2013, we have been having yoga classes in uh, mainly South Bangalore. But now because of the pandemic, we have been online since March 2020. And uh, now our reach is not only to Bangalore, but in different corners of India and the rest of the world also. So we offer holistic yoga and then also have different yoga sessions by our teachers. We also have individual therapeutic yoga. So you could uh, check out our website, Yoga Bharati Bangaluru, or you could also send a mail at info at yogabharati.net. So today's session by Dr. Mayurvi Kaku. I welcome Dr. Mayur Kaku. Hello, doctor, you can switch on your video. Namaste. Now, as you all know, Namaste. Dr. Mayur Kaku. Namaste, Vijay Ji. Namaste. Namaste. So, Dr. Ah. Mayur, yeah. Some of you who know Dr. Mayur, he is a yogic neurosurgeon, having completed his training in Nimhans, Bangalore. He is also a gold medalist from the government of India for his academic excellence. You might be wondering why I'm calling him a yogic neurosurgeon. So that is because of his yoga practice along with his medical studies, you know, exposure to yoga and the 
Indian culture, the Upanishads. That is how, you know, he is also a yoga therapist. He is a trained yoga therapist also. He is an expert in minimally invasive brain and spine surgery and has special interest in endoscopic and pediatric neurosurgery. So like I said, he is also a certified yoga therapist from Esvyasa Yoga University. He believes in combining his yogic knowledge with his medicine practice and in a holistic manner for the benefit of all his patients. So his basic interest is in yoga, also environment, not only yoga, but also environment. So he has this group called ENRI, which is yoga, environment, neuroscience and research institute. So without making, taking too much of a time, I hand over the mic to Dr. Mayur. So over to Dr. Mayur. So let us all sit back and learn more about spine, how the spine is very important for us to keep it healthy because that is responsible to ensure that all the other organs are also kept healthy. So over to Dr. Mayur. Namaste all. Thank you very much, uh, Vijayaji, for your kind introduction. Let me share the screen now. Okay. I hope you are able to see the screen now. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So as a, a medical practitioner, as a neurosurgeon, I have learned spine and brain in detail. And luckily, I have learned yoga far more before that. And uh, because of yogic practice only, I feel that whatever personality I have developed, that is because of the yoga abhyas, which my parents and grandparents have given. So whenever I study modern medicine, I try to link it with ancient scriptures, ancient science. I don't call it as mythology because mythology is something is a myth. But when we go into the depth of our scriptures, we come to know that it is an advanced level of science. So I hope that today I would be able to justify this. And I have been trying to justify this through various videos like this on my own channel, which is called as Mayurvi Kaku. There are 400 plus videos on this channel. And I come daily live on YouTube, 4.30 to 5.30 Indian Standard Time which is called as Brahma Murutha Yoga. So here you can see here, I had started a 21 days challenge for lockdown. During the lockdown, I was taking pictures like this and I was posting on my group and I was asking people what exactly is happening to their body and as well as their mind. 21 days challenge, full body posture correction. How you feel when your chin is up to the wall? Now, this posture as such is never shown in any of the scriptures. However, as my neurosurgical knowledge says that cervical spine needs to have a C-shaped curvature, lumbar spine needs to have a C-shaped curvature, and dorsal spine, that is the mid-back, needs to have a D-shaped curvature. So, I just tried to touch myself in the form of Tadasana, facing to the wall. Rather than facing the back to the wall, I tried to put that and I tried to lift my chin up so that the neck muscles are stretched and then the cervical spine gets a C-shaped curvature. Now this is exactly opposite of what we do while we are using our mobiles. Okay, We bend down, we look down. When we are reading, we do that. When we are looking at the laptop, we are doing that. So many of you have asked around 123 questions were asked and I have tried to answer all the questions. And from the very first slide, my focus is on answering your questions. Okay. Because all of us have many questions about our health, specifically our spine. And there is a reason why the spine is the most discussed topic when we are into healthcare. Because as such, we are four-legged animals and the two legs have got converted into hands. And that is why we are in bipedal locomotion. The brunt of which is coming on the spine. Spine was initially horizontal. 
However, as we evolved, our spine has become vertical. And when the spine is horizontal, we can understand that the gravity is having equal pull on the spine. However, when it is vertical, it is the center of gravity is changing, having a, a differential of gravity acting on it. The higher the spine, the more tension because potential energy increases. Okay. And at the same time, how, how much is the mobility of the spine? The cervical spine is the most mobile segment. And that is why it has the maximum amount of brunt in terms of our perks of using hands versus spine becoming vertical. Okay. Now, all of us, we know that medicine and surgery for spine disorders are well described. And I am trained in that. And it is available freely now, everywhere. <laughs> okay. But those who suffer, they know that it is not the complete thing. We have to be very, very honest with ourselves. Eight years back, now nine years back, 2021, nine years back, one of my teachers had come to me and uh, he had three level lumbar canal stenosis. Lumbar means lower back spine, had a stenosis, means the nerves were passing through a very tight canal and he required a surgery. However, I told him, sir, uh, I think you should not undergo surgery because you are 78 years old. And uh, if you undergo surgery, it will be difficult for you after a few months or few years. Then he told, what to do? I'm suffering. Then I told, sir, you were a teacher of mine, but now let me become your teacher. And I will try to teach you some yoga. And then through that abhyas, if you improve, then it is great. And now after nine years, he is still riding his vehicle. He is traveling everywhere without any pain. And he has not undergone surgery. I will speak about this later once again. One more thing, uh, because of this, my yogic uh, campaign, many of the people, they don't, uh, they, th they think that I don't do surgeries. So it is not like that. I do surgeries. I do surgeries of brain, tumors, brain blood clots spine tumors, spine fractures like this. So whenever there is a, a difficult physical condition, definitely surgery is required. However, not all the surgeries uh, are required every time whenever somebody is prescribed one thing. Even I have prescribed surgeries to many people and they have asked for yoga therapy. And through that, they have gone into beautiful rehabilitation, beautiful recovery. Even so, that many of them are doing 50 rounds of Shashankasan, Bhujangasan, 108 rounds of Surya Namaskar. So it is possible. Even in this case, it was a very critical case. I would like to show you. And you can see that when we combine the modern medicine and the ancient science, what happens? If we see, if we look at this, just with surgery, he will not improve. We require some amount of grace from the universe and which is possible through yogic practices, I will show this, okay? You may not be able to hear the sound, but... So this is before surgery. Now, as you have seen this video, he is at such a point where smallest of mistake in surgery will make him paralyzed forever in his life. He will be completely bed bound. All the four limbs will get paralyzed and his breathing capacity will also go off because this is the area where the diaphragm supplying nerve is there. Okay. So I did the surgery. Surgery was successful. However, surgery has to be successful only when the patient is completely recovered. Correct. So this is him after one month.
so like this so it is a combination of surgery as well as yoga abhyas now we'll move on so i am going to answer your questions and that is how i will subside the need of questions after the session and thank you all of you for filling the form so that i was able to uh, create my powerpoint easily because your need has to be first of all satisfied otherwise if i speak something and you wanted something it should not happen okay so this is the best question i would like to see uh, if you are asking questions i would like to see it but it's okay and uh, yeah i used to practice yoga daily without interruption from 2003 to 2016 practice most of the asanas including shirsasan sarvangasan halasan ushrasan and the like at later stages i started getting pain upon which my orthopedic surgeon advised me not to go for particular asanas however slowly i reduced practicing yoga and started only mild jogging brisk walking some cardiovascular exercises to keep myself fit now i am having trouble though not chronic in twisting my neck pulling my neck back to look up like in ustrasan my doctor had diagnosed it for spondylosis i could not continue my consultation due to covid 19 how can i counter this effectively without going it for any medication now i will be slightly uh, like i have to be very frank here all these things i have to keep i have to put things in line because many of you expect me to speak the truth okay so orthopedic surgeon first of all orthopedic surgeon it means that they are bone doctors they are not spine doctors inside the spine most important organ of nervous system is there that is spinal cord and the nerve roots orthopedic surgeons handle the bones of the body not the nerves of the body somehow it entered into the system where orthopedic surgeons also started seeing the spine and somewhere we all uh, think that spine is a bone and we have to go to orthopedic surgeon which is not correct i don't have any personal issues with orthopedic surgeons but however their training is extremely limited in terms of nervous system whereas as neurosurgeons from the day one we are and uh, another thing where this person is telling that i was practicing yoga for 2003 to 2016 i tried to calculate i tried to calculate the age of this person through the number given and most probably he started practicing yoga at 50 years of age here i would like to emphasize those who are parents they should put their children early into the yoga abhyas not like wait for them to have some diagnosis at middle age and then they start doing yoga okay that is another point then in yoga abhyas we calculate our progress in terms of doing shirsasan or in terms of doing some difficult postures yoga is not doing a difficult posture yoga is something absolutely different which i would uh, address as we go on and i have addressed this issue since last 400 plus videos of mine most important thing about yoga is yoga is coordination of body and mind trying to fuse our individual consciousness into the supreme consciousness it looks very fancy or it looks very cryptic when i speak but that is the real meaning of yoga yoga is not just doing some postures on a mat okay now here sir whatever you are asking it is possible i would like to show you some examples now uh, as it is i think it's a webinar so i have to just tell you all of us know who is this person bks ayangar and we all know this person also nannamal he was 80 plus when he was doing this pose 
you can see his aging skin here and she is 95 plus when she is doing this practice okay it means that body can be taken care of if we are doing nirantar abhyas okay if we are regularly practicing and the focus of our practice is not on just physical excellence but it is mental social and spiritual excellence as well yoga abhyas has to be holistic it should not be just personal health i want my health to be good my i want my health to be good that cannot be done that is not a correct way of doing yoga abhyas yoga yoga abhyas is not for selfish reasons this we should understand okay now one practical example from my side this is shamantakka mani she was 64 years when she had come to me on looking at her scan she required two scan two surgeries i had asked for a neck surgery and i had asked for a lumbar surgery but she told no i want to do yoga and now after 3 months of her continuous practice she was able to do markatasan and now she is able to do 108 surya namaskaras as well okay you can meet her she is 65 years now you can definitely meet her she is absolutely absolutely a gem of a person and she does fantastic yogic postures not only that most important is that her heart is absolutely beautiful okay it is possible and she was in invincible pain and it was very difficult case without surgery it is not possible however with regular practice of yoga she was able to recover okay this is one more case some of you might be aware of this kind of scan where you can see here this is a disc okay which has come out this disc is normal this disc has slightly come out this disc has absolutely come out and you can see here that it is pressing onto the nerve root from here the nerve root will pass out from the canal and it will be distributing Hello, sir. Oh, the uh, back Dr. muscles, Dr. Mayur. The leg, like that. Hello. Yeah, hello. There is some lag in your voice. Yeah. Now, now it is. Now it is okay. Yeah, just a minute. The screen yes, sharing is still not come in. Yeah, it has yes, come. Yes, now it's come. Yeah, it is okay now. Okay, should we continue? Okay. Ha. Huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So here you can see the Samma. She had come from Andhra Pradesh, and every week she used to come once. I cannot teach patients daily. I cannot conduct yoga sessions uh, daily. However, I can take care of one patient. once a day and once a week like that so now if you can see she is doing baddha konasan and in that she is doing a beautiful mudra which is called as merudanda mudra so for spine issues the best mudra is called as merudanda mudra there are many lectures of mine available on my channel about mudra therapy i recommend all of you to go through those videos this is left hand chin mudra and right hand madhyama and kanishtha touching that is called as merudanda mudra so when you are doing merudanda mudra you can close your eyes keep the merudanda straight that is spine straight and sit comfortably just like this amma you can take the support of the wall when a patient is there they need to take the support of the wall if they are not able to sit on the floor they can sit on the chair as well not a problem and through that they can practice merudanda mudra and sit comfortably closing their eyes and focusing on breathing also trying to feel the pulse at the tip of the fingers most important thing is to feel the nadi at the tip of the fingers okay 
you can do this mudra you can explore and then later on you can let us know how do you feel about it okay i i have explained about the mechanism of this also in my videos you can check it out now coming to talk questions okay any questions for the speaker the speaker is a neurosurgeon himself i wish all of you all you all success in life thank you very much please suggest how to counteract the ill effects of long hours in front of computer postures cannot be normal and ideal always yes we have uh, a slide on that i will come to that few easy yoga asanas which anyone can do for a healthy spine and what Uh, all things to avoid so that we don't end up hurting our spine so actually from the very first slide i started showing you simple things the first posture was facing the wall and then lifting the chin up and taking the hands back okay that we can do like this many photos of mine are there simple simple things you can do one basic understanding we should have is na hathat na balat in yoga abhyas there is no hurry and there is there should not be any force okay we should do it with ease and we should feel happy when we are doing the posture if we are not feeling happy initially there may be some pain but if after the posture if we are feeling relaxed then most probably that is the asana which is helpful for our therapeutic yoga okay but for that you need to do all these things under supervision okay few easy yoga asanas okay that you, you can visit my channel also there are many uh, many videos available on that how to lift heavy objects we have a slide on that we are constantly advised not to see cell phone for long as it may cause neck pain but reading books is also in that position please advise please follow the same rules for the books and please don't put two three pillows and uh, you some people will do no they will read like this please do not do that it is not good for your neck i have seen and i have treated i have done even surgeries on people who have bent their neck just because of putting two three pillows underneath okay and you would have seen many elderly people also their spine will be bent they will be like this why one is laptop another one is two three pillows underneath the head okay should we keep the books also at eye level yes you should definitely try to do that there are book stands also available beautiful book stands are available you can get those book stands and aram se at a relaxed uh, pose you can read the books okay i get pain when i run or i have a jerk how do how to build strong spine also would this affect during old age yes this definitely the wear and tear increases and i i have a lot of literature and lot of understanding about running running is a very controversial topic when i start speaking i'm not a fan of practices which involve unnecessary dissipation of breath our breath is our pran and when we excessively use it without any reason if you are planning to join military if you are planning to join and try to do sports then it is a different story just for fitness there is no need to dissipate your breath so please try to search for good literature on running and then you will come to know that running has many disadvantages actually our brain likes running because our ancestors were running and our limbic system likes to run likes to have that sweat and exaggerated feeling through release of many hormones okay but actually for our complete progress it is not required again and again it is not required once in a while it is fine but again and again it is not required how to correct the posture yes we are learning that if i lift some weight sit continuously for longer duration feels like spine is paining need to develop strength stamina and flexibility one important word is gently gentleness is extremely important i have left shoulder blade and uh, left hand pain no cardio problems any exercises to correct it doctor yes there are many videos however the data which you have presented here is insufficient you need to be evaluated anything should be a combination of western medicine and ancient wisdom it should not be just like we should not become uh, ignorant just because we don't uh, want to go towards modern medicine do not go completely but take the help of technology so that you know exactly what is happening with your body okay 
when i get up in the morning i get lower back pain it lasts for 20 minutes only then it is normal need to look at the quality of your mattress on on which we sleep the mattress we need to understand there are many good mattresses available do not go towards the brand do not go towards that try to sleep on the mattress and see for me myself i sleep on the floor only on a chape okay because i have been doing that since childhood so i don't sleep on the mattress because slightly hard surface is always good for your spine okay so hard mattress also is good for your spine now this picture this picture is a very simple one once again anybody can do this you can see myself standing along the wall in tadasan urdhva hasta completely stretched you should focus on the kind of alignment which i am achieving okay the alignment achievement is extremely important if you are not achieving it means that you need to correct that without doing that please do not go to the next step okay now you can see here i have slightly slowly gone down that is squatting or it is also called as utkatasan so it is wall supported utkatasan it helps us to align make our spine strong at the same time to align our shoulders and our hips along with the rest of the body properly i hope that you get benefit from this but do it very very gently i feel some tingling sensation in my back in my neck it doesn't cause any pain but it gives slight discomfort please let me know why it may be a nerve pinch or it may be some kind of paresthesia because of some kind of neuralgia which over a period of time if you practice regularly it may improve it will improve generally it improves my movement of neck is restricted so any suggestions to improve would be appreciated most important is you have to find out why your neck movement is restricted like in that person you saw that the surgery which i had done the shoulder movement was restricted neck movement was restricted because he had some small fracture not small it was a big fracture but i'm not frightening you it is extremely important for us to find out why these problems are happening on this tuesday i had operated a huge tumor of the brain where the person developed giddiness one second thing he developed neck pain and the initial doctor had prescribed him that you have cervical spondylosis please go and uh, take these medicines and do regular physiotherapy however his symptoms worsened and he got worried he went to another doctor another doctor told you need to get an mri done because i feel that there is something serious wrong going on and then he got mri done through that he found out that he has a huge tumor inside his small brain here and then i did the surgery now his wife is supposedly uh, a very senior person in healthcare industry it does not mean it does not mean that anybody who is in a healthcare industry are also immune to problems one second thing is it's not necessary that we are in the healthcare industry that means that we uh, can diagnose the things early that is also not correct and many a times we think very casually instead of thinking casually or there should be a balance should not be too much of fear should not be too much of casual behavior in between we should be able to judge ourselves the best he was best judge of himself and he told that i felt that something is seriously wrong and that is why i changed my doctor even though we we knew the other doctor for 20 years we changed the doctor so that is uh, extremely important that we understand what is going on within our body the awareness awareness is extremely important how can we come out of upper back pain regular posture management upper back pain is generally when we are not using our shoulders properly we are slouching we are not using our neck properly we are not putting our head into proper alignment with the book mobile or laptop okay so for that as we saw th these are the good upper back pain relievers okay this one and then this one the initial one yes okay so that another for further more are coming okay suffering from neuropathy since 2013 wrongly diagnosed and treated by doctors as diabetic neuropathy with heavy medication realized recently that it could be because of spinal issues have you confirmed this sir that it is because of spinal issues another thing is that wrongly diagnosed and wrongly treated by doctors it is not doctors mistake okay one thing I, you should understand this 
and uh, many a times the way we express it may uh, doctor may perceive it in a different manner and at the same time if doctor prescribes you investigation you think that doctor is extra investigation prescribing okay always investigations are important so that we find out what exactly is going on in the body okay is the damage done irreversible i don't think so but for this we need more details to give a perfect opinion and we cannot just assume things we cannot just keep on judging that okay this is that that is that this is right this is wrong okay we need to go to the depth of the truth and truth can only be recovered if we are investigating properly okay next one so this is one more okay so this is once again the use of wall and as somebody had asked no upper back pain sir this is very good exercise for your upper back you can see here once once again i am facing towards the wall that initial chin up urdhva hasta tadasana i am doing and then slowly i am sliding down so that my upper back is getting a beautiful stretch beautiful stretch not only upper back upper limbs also are getting nice stretch and my legs are also getting a nice stretch overall the whole spine is nicely stretched okay slowly we have to do everything has to be done very very slowly sthiram sukham and asanam you should enjoy doing your postures okay attending for information and taking care of the body i generally have back uh, pain on the back of the neck which leads to migraine i am sorry this connection is not correct migraine is a different entity neck pain is a different entity this is severe when i wake up once again if you tell something which happens on waking up may not be migraine because generally migraine triggers on exposure to sunlight and you on waking up generally we do not have so much of sunlight not sure that if this is a spine or posture related thanks again yes it can be posture related and you are telling that when you are waking up it is severe it means that something is wrong with your pillow something is wrong with your posture on sleeping something is wrong with your mattress please find it out have bottled up emotions anything to do with low back pain i love this question okay definitely yes lots and lots of things apparently 90 to 95% of disorders including cancer happen due to bottled up emotions and we are expert in <laughs> spilling our emotions at wrong times and we should learn to channel our emotions we should learn to watch our emotions playing with us playing with others and so that we can come to peace faster and we can understand the maya which is playing around us okay it's a very beautiful question sir i i my hats off to you and uh, yeah definitely we can discuss more about this later on sometime what practices to take care of the cervical spine does weather have an influence on the spine during winter in bangalore feels stiffness yes definitely weather has an influence in the winters we get stiffness in is there any relation with sinusitis and neck pain yes there are many sinuses not only maxillary sinus not only frontal sinus inside there are ethmoidal sinuses there is sphenoid sinus and the, behind there is mastoid sinus so when the sinuses are full our head will feel full and we will not be interested in moving the head so automatically what will happen we will keep on holding the head with tight neck muscles and the, when the neck muscles are tight automatically we will develop neck pain so beautiful uh, understanding beautiful uh, thinking that yes can sinusitis cause neck pain yeah beautiful i i like this question flexibility around the lower back is restricted so this is a statement yes we are we are seeing various postures we will keep on uh, pondering over these postures meanwhile so you can see here once again i am using the wall walls are all around but do we really use them for our benefit so use them from now onwards try to use your walls in a very simple efficient manner see this here i have stretched my hands stretching of the hands is extremely important making our shoulders and our upper back strong is also extremely important okay so here you can see i am doing a dip parallel dip along the wall okay so this also leads to strong upper limbs which helps us to keep our shoulders in proper alignment with the spine okay now 
can we control and maintain by yoga without medicine yes watch the patient's testimonials at mayurvi kaku my youtube channel has many patient testimonials where they have left their medications even for a diabetes even for a hypertension even at 70 plus age and many of the surgeries are also avoided please watch that for your personal confidence building will sinusitis cause neck pain one more person coming up with the same question yes spinal column and connection of kundalini shakti it is a full session on its own please uh, invite me later for this already i have spoken about this kundalini in terms of neuroendocrine system on my channel you can go and uh, enjoy the session there why does the pain increase when hand movements like cutting vegetable or washing in the sink is it okay to continue doing these chores despite the pain no one should rest now this why is because i will when i will show the photos i will show between the bones the nerves are passing and we are when we are moving what will happen the nerve will get crushed and between the bones and or else it will get hello dr mayur again your voice is not okay. heard it will get stuck uh actually i am getting call no at that time these things are happening just a okay, second okay okay i am getting okay. a call from hospital so i'll just take it and i'll just finish it off okay okay so yeah why does the pain increase with that i have addressed so along with the pain the nerve will friction with the bones okay explain spondylitis and spondylosis asanas for slip disc okay there are many uh, videos of this plus spondylitis means inflammation it can be autoimmune spondylitis also like in rheumatoid arthritis like in ankylosing spondylitis spondylosis generally means that it is degenerative spondylosis means along with the age as as we progress as we in, increase in the age the number of years we pass the bones become weak the joints become weak and that is called as spondylosis asana for slip disc whatever pictures i am showing they are all asanas for slip disc okay however when you have a slip disc it is recommended that please do the practice under a proper expert guidance it is a highly recommended please youtube videos are generally only for theoretical knowledge and for your motivation do not use youtube as some kind of practical manual okay it is just to create interest just to create awareness okay my problem is if i bend down it takes a while for me to straighten working in the garden or lifting some weight during a day, uh, day causes back ache please advise the data is insufficient sir what is con- causing this bending problem and uh, why you are having that uh, issue it, it needs to be evaluated i had a hairline crack at monkey bone few years back and i was sitting on round tire for few months as a part of therapy now i am fine but painful if i sit uh, if i sit for a longer time for you the best posture right now is wall supported vipreet karni that is extremely useful also uh, you can apply ice over there tire therapy is one thing you apply ice ice helps in reducing the inflammation okay in sports injuries they use rice therapy rest ice compression elevation rice rest r i ice c compression generally what we feel is warm bag is good but warm bag is good in european countries not in our country in our country the climate is warm so we need cold okay in sports also body is become hot that is why they use ice compression okay fallen on three stairs approximately 2 years back l4 l5 affected 
the data about whatever you have mentioned is insufficient but yeah definitely i can tell that i have treated a patient who had fallen down 25 years back and she had a fracture of the lumbar spine and now still she is doing extremely well okay and she has not required surgery so definitely it is possible however it requires patience and persistence okay we'll move on yeah so this is vipreet karni for you you can see here see how i am stretching my body it is extremely important how i am aligning with the wall that is extremely important this is called as dandasan urdhva hasta chin mudra is there okay and at the same time this is lying down on vipreet karan okay this also simple simple things we should take and we should try to develop a consistency in doing these practices very simple but highly effective when you do and you get benefit please let me know why ladies are prone to getting lba lower back ache the biology what is the biology in ladies what is the difference in between a male body and a female body it is the hormonal system and the hormonal system is a continuously fluctuating system in ladies another thing is that they develop osteoporosis after menopause also their body structure is in such a way that the center of gravity changes and the lower back is strained because of hyper curvature of the lumbar region that is why they have a tendency to lower back pain i will show that uh, slide also how to address back issues during and after delivery it is a session on its own we have to discuss in detail however simple simple things definitely are emphasized and do not try to overdo the things generally people uh, after looking at the westerners uh, instagram photos and uh, their keto diet and their extraordinary uh, crossfit workouts and all these things which releases testosterone and adrenaline in our body uh, we feel no we will also do that i will tell you one thing the female body is highly delicate body even more that more than that the female mind is highly delicate we need to preserve your delicacy and for that we should not overdo the things in terms of body weight management in terms of recovery in a post partum person now what do you mean by that it means that we should be graceful in doing all these things you should be able to restore in every compartment of your life not only that okay so not only body but also mind also prana and at the same time the care the new role which you have acquired as a mother should not get compromised just emphasis so that it does not recur how to reduce tailbone pain i have told that vipreet karni and posture management is extremely important how to heal spine from stress and overwork without medicines yoga nidra you can see yoga nidra video of mine at my channel one second thing is that regularly please take some break when you are doing your desk work or your uh, this thing any work you are doing please take some break which is extremely important okay so this is one more posture you can see that i am sitting like malasan and you can see that i am taking a good support of my spine you sh you should look at the face what happens is we do not internalize when we are doing the asana it is extremely important that we should internalize the feelings stiram sukham asanam we should be able to feel that stability we should be able to feel that happiness when we are doing a particular posture once again i am using the wall here to make me do pavana muktasan in a better manner and as you all know these are also very good asanas for lower back for the tip of the low back for the tip of the spine it's very very efficient simple highly efficient okay what is the best spinal exercise to keep the body young and supple that can be done daily without stress and supervision yoga nidra yoga nidra can be done extremely okay are there any natural foods or supplements that we can consume and build a strong cartilage yes definitely edible gum which i generally prescribe to my spine patients and they are very happy with it gond it is called as curry leaves which we put in our sambar and everything curry leaves are extremely efficient white sesame jeera jaggery and ginger these are extremely useful 
to bring uh, to bring the strength in the cartilage apart from that there are various other other uh, masalas and condiments in our home only in our kitchen only our kitchen itself is a pharmacy you can use that does craniosacral therapy ayurvedic massage and yoga help in keeping the spine strong and free of any mishaps it is a phenomenon yeah there there are many accidents also which happen i recommend that please do not visit any chiropractor who does the things very violently gentle marma chikitsa is good for health okay i get pain in neck and right shoulder often how to overcome and strengthen it also i had a tennis elbow in right arm and pain is not yet fully gone after even a year there is dull pain and sometimes the pain is more however i do not take any pain killers or medicines you need to assess the practice which you are doing if you are not doing any yoga abhyas then please start under able guidance and most probably you will be able to get relief from that stiffness from the pain and from the restriction of the movement okay how can we keep our spinal column straight at all times that is about meta awareness we need to learn how to keep our spine straight okay every moment either you can focus on the breathing or else you can focus on a straight erect spine want a strong and flexible spinal cord please help and guide me sir see we should not fear about aging aging is inevitable only thing is it should be graceful we should not think that oh i am aging oh what will happen this will happen that will happen no we should not fear and do the things we should always do the things for higher purpose that is also meta awareness we should find out for what purpose i am doing this suppose if i am doing this to increase my influence if this lecture which is going on if i am doing this to increase my influence then it is bogus it is a selfish uh, reason to do this lecture but if i am thinking that whatever knowledge i have let it be useful to the society and if i think at a very deeper level i come to know that if i prevent one surgery how much of environmental pollution i am preventing because one surgery means approximately 20 to 30 kg of plastic is going to get used apart from that the anesthesia machines the electricity which we use the machinery which we use and for that how much of electricity is required and all these things is extremely high if i am able to reduce that it means that i am reducing the carbon dioxide footprint on the mother earth in addition to that i am giving higher purpose to the life of the person whom i am coming in contact with it means that i am building a better society with people who have a better level of thinking so there are many ticks i am achieving whether i will be recognized or not that should not be a question in my mind if that question is there it means that i am working with a lower level of awareness meta awareness is going towards more and more selfless behavior okay so yes all of us should have flexible uh, spinal uh, column and all these things not spinal cord we should have a flexible spinal column which is containing the spinal cord but for that we should not fear for that we should not be selfish we should be re relaxed and uh, then slowly slowly we should progress what causes stiffness in the neck there are many causes and uh, it's out of the scope for me to go into the details of all these things is pain in the arms related to back and spine yes it is related because the nerves pass through that now one more beautiful stretch you can see here it's a variation of ashva sanchalanasana with the support of the wall if you see when you do this you will come to know that what a beautiful stretch you will get all along the body okay please do this and give us the feedback what exactly you are feeling if you do not understand if you have some difficulty in doing this please do not perform do it gently do a simpler version you, you do something which is very simple along with the wall okay please suggest for sacroiliitis i suffered a left joint in 2012 2013 and then again 2019 for the right joint have made changes in diet uh, to combat with uh, inflammation by increasing antioxidants and it has helped me i would like to hear feedback and suggestions on this condition ma you should undergo katibasti yoga nidra and it is actually a separate topic on its own but
Katibasti will help you a lot. Katibasti is an Ayurvedic procedure. Uh, you can discuss with Ayurvedic consultant and you can take the services from them. It's a very beautiful, I prescribe many of my patients uh, who are lower back pain and for neck pain, I prescribe Grivavasti. It's extremely useful. Many a times surgeries are avoided because it will help us to remove the stiffness of that area. How body fat is responsible for back pain? Scientific reason. Yes, sir. There is a slide on that. I get sciatic pain from lower hip to leg, uh, ankles, left side. This pain started after delivery. And also I get calcaneal settlement in, uh, I do not know, there was some, I think there is some uh, spelling autocorrect thing going on. Both foot due to which I get heel, heel pain and uh, also and at arch of foot. My left upper but little middle back uh, feels like some sprain tingling pain sometimes. Few months back, I had neck pain. Sometimes I feel guiding. Okay. Uh, but I, after practicing yoga, I don't get neck pain. So yes, definitely you are getting benefit from the neck, uh, from the yoga bhyas. Kindly suggest how to take care of the spine health. Sure. That is why we are having this session. And I hope that you will get a lot of benefit from this session. Is it true that back pain and sciatica are one? No, it is not true. Back pain is different and sciatica is different. Back pain can be because of just problem in the bone, disc, ligament, cartilage, anything. And sciatica is the result of these problems leading to compression of the nerve. That is the sciatic nerve that will lead to sciatic. Gets after local anesthesia due to caesarean section remains throughout the life. No, it is not true. The local anesthesia which they give they will inject and there will be some temporary injury to the ligament, temporary injury to the dura over there, which gets healed over a period of time. And you should not feel any problem after some time. Okay. Actually, the emotion of doing caesarean section, emotion of becoming mother makes one vulnerable for feeling the pain more. After one becomes mother, no. The, not only you feel the pain of your own body, you feel the pain of your own child also. So that pain threshold, no, it, it comes down very drastically. That is why the pain feeling will increase after you become a mother. I have my hats off to all the mothers because of that only we are all here. Okay. So one more Samidha Asana, sitting very comfortably. You can see here, once again, I'm using the wall as a support. And then I'm bending from the root of the back, extremely important and slowly coming down and trying to feel each and every point of contact. It is extremely important. Doing it very, very slowly. Okay. Now, how can I be relieved of spondylitis and sciatic pain? Regular practice. There is no shortcut. <laughs> there are actually no 21 days challenges. Yoga Abhyas has to be regular. Okay. After 21 days challenges are just to boost your performance, just to bring you into the groove of regularity. That's all. Uh, after practicing Dhanurasan, Bhujangasan, heaviness in my crown of the head, at that time when I bend my head down, there is no heaviness. Otherwise, it continues up to 10 minutes. After that, simply disappears. It requires personal assessment, sir. And uh, you might be feeling the flow of prana. That is what I understand out of it. You might be feeling that. Okay. So you need to go for an able guidance. Okay. Cervical spondylitis ki problem ho jati hai, so ke utne par kabhi kabhi. Please watch your mattress, aapke jo, aapka gadda hai, aur aapka jo uh, pillow hai, takia, uske upar aapko dhyan dena padhenga, kyunki agar aapko gardan mein not care to take during asanas and what type of injuries can happen. Yeah, sure. I am discussing all these things. With that, we will be discussing that also. Prior to menstruation, peculiar kind of pain develops in my lower back. It happens because it is a referred pain. During the periods, what happens is the endometrial lining is going to get dissolved. And when that get dissolved, it creates some pain producing substances there. And those substances will irritate the nerves over there, which in turn will go back and give some signal. And that signal will be radiated to a different area. It is just like 
your Google map live location. You are at one point, your mobile is at one point, but if you have shared it with somebody else, what happens on their mobile also, you can see that, okay, that person is there. So same way, the problem is happening in the uterus, but through spinal column, through spinal cord, we come to know that the problem can be displayed at lower back also. That is called as referred pain, okay? I have broad disc bulge in L5 S1, doctor advised surgery, but now I am able to manage my life without surgery. However, I am not able to uh, live an active life since then. Will the situation improve or surgery will be required in future? I think you should watch Shamantakka Mani video at my channel one. If you want to meet her personally, then you should meet. No, I like her, I have many people to meet. You can meet them and you can understand get motivated that oh not only the like pain reduction it's about promotion of the health as well okay my niece 12 years is diagnosed with mild scoliosis currently she is asked to wear a brace for 23 hours a day which has to be continued for next few years at least is there something which can be done as on a yoga practice to avoid the braces and expedite the cure we have to assess, uh, assess the severity of the scoliosis one thing Another thing, there is a Marma Chikitsa, which happens in Kerala. I have seen beautiful videos of that. I have not personally visited them. But however, uh, I have seen people recovering from that. And I have met people also who have recovered from scoliosis through Marma Chikitsa 1. Second thing is, we have to assess the severity. What kind of problem is going on? And yes, with gradual improvement in yoga bhyas, she can definitely get away from the braces okay now let us go to the next so this is one more posture once again you can watch me taking support of the wall okay take support of the wall no ego involved there is no need of any ego most of my patients are elderly so i have become an expert in using the wall and through that we can gain beautiful amount when beautiful kind of posture okay you can see here prasarita padottanasan in that i am doing parivrutta prasarita padottanasan you can see here okay is there any chair yoga asanas for a person with compression fracture of the spine due to osteoporosis it is a you require personal training sir you have a fracture please understand this and uh, yeah it is possible chair as uh, surya namaskara chair asanas are possible MRI done, diagnosed degenerative changes in cervical, lumbar and thoracic bones, advised to wear lumbosacral belt. What does this mean and your kind of belt should not be used continuously. One very big mis misunderstanding people have is that belt has to be used, belt has to be used. No, belt has to be used only when you are traveling and belt has to be used continuously in particular cases where the bone is moving. One, generally bone moves in listhesis. One, Second thing is bone moves when some infection and fracture is there. At that time, we need to use belt continuously. Please inform which are the best regular practices for the relief from pains in the spine, anywhere from neck to coccydynia. Yes, already we have seen many asanas till now. Looking for the right guidance, please. Thank you very much. How to strengthen and make the spine more flexible? Getting stiffer every year. Regular laser runner since 2010-2011. Adapting global standards with scientific training schedules. Once again, whatever global standards and this and that, I have seen lots of things since last many years. And uh, I have been a part of making people, Mr. Maharashtra, Mr. Mumbai, in bodybuilding competition. They have taken my guidance. In addition to that, I have been a part of understanding the triathlons, which Many of you might be knowing triathlons means marathon distance running, cycling, and then swimming. So these three things combined together in a stipulated period of time has to be finished. All these things are actually going to exhaust the body. It is going to do wear and tear. How do we associate how much car should be costed? By the number of kilometers that car has run. Why do you want to run too much and spoil your body? It is not only about running and making you physically fit. There are many other aspects of our existence, physical, mental, social, and spiritual. Yes, there are some social benefits also of running. Definitely mental benefits also. It makes us more strong mentally. However, there are physical serious disadvantages, which someday we will discuss. Not a problem. 
cure for the pain yes yoga nidra and mudras are beautiful way of curing the pain in yoga abhyas can disc bulges be reversed can yoga help uh, reverse nerve compression yes definitely it is possible is it true that height could be increased at any age by yoga my yoga mate uh, age 45 plus mentioned that uh, of late that she gained an inch of height see i will show you how i will gain weight uh, how, how i will gain height see if i am sitting slightly like this i can sit like this so basically what happens is our posture improves when we are doing yoga abhyas regularly our spine can become more and more erect okay that is how we gain 4 5 cm of height now see here this is my bhujangasan shashankasan challenge in this what I, i have done is i have modified it for elderly people that is bhujangasan in the chair itself see how nicely the neck will arch and then slowly going into shashankasan so you can bend forward and then go into shashankasan in chair itself gently you can do this okay details are available on my channel how to take care of the lower back sure uh, we will learn that we are learning that right now what is required to keep your body strong awareness that we are beyond this body is extremely important because the moment we try to make this body strong we are making other parts of our existence weaker because we are focusing only on one aspect which leads us to forget about other aspects and all the aspects are equally important our car runs on four wheels not on one wheel and all the wheels are equally important if one is punctured we know that car will not run properly okay so physical mental social and spiritual okay i have peripheral neuropathy since last 10 years doctors say that it is due to diabetes but it is is it a possibility due to lower back pain sir yes once again it is possibility however detailed evaluation is needed without any evaluation we should not just do bhavishyavani or jyotishi okay thank you please let me know which yoga will help me with sleep apnea amma this is also once again it is a session in itself sleep apnea is a huge topic if people have sleep apnea means most probably they are having snoring at the same time they are might be obese so it goes into a very different path and we have to find out what is the cause of sleep apnea so many things are there in that it's it is a huge topic even books are written on sleep apnea so we have to give respect to this topic diagnosis is extremely important you diagnose yourself properly the pain is also in left thigh area in worse condition the body leans towards left then i do uh, only back exercise to correct it it occurs twice a year and um, i also have flat feet use arches in the shoes before back pain the left heel uh, get severe pain and then i know back pain will come once again have you got evaluated that is also uh, important your evaluation has to be important and it it has to be done and then through that yoga abhyas can be specialized personalized for you okay once again bhujangasan shashankasan previously i showed you chair one this is on the mat okay slowly it has to be done okay now namaste i am writing go for my mom vijay lakshmi recently the doctor says that dish 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 means diffuse idiopathic systemic hyperostosis or degenerative it is hyperostosis means the bones become more and more uh, increase in the size okay the calcification of the bone increases due to which my mom neck is bend uh, where my uh, neck is bending please help us to overcome this i would like to see the scans so that i can make what exactly is going on for calcium hyper deposition uh, we need to understand that too much of minerals to be taken like people take no calcium supplements excessive calcium supplementation is not good we should nourish our body with natural food rather than trying to eat tablets also she is bending forward how to maintain spine posture during working slides are there i will show you i have pain in left sole heel and hip please help evaluate and then we can start yoga abhyas okay evaluation after that yoga abhyas how sciatica is related to spine i will show you how do nerves get impinged in the lower back once again slides are there 
please explain about middle back muscle spasms sprains catches in the cramps sure simply middle back problems are basically because of posture posture management is extremely important and if the spasm is happening you need to go for yoga nidra you need to go for relaxation techniques you need to go for simple asanas like shavasan makarasan shashankasan and viparit karni these four asanas are extremely important for anybody to relax their spines okay so now let us come to the lecture i hope that uh, i have answered all the questions i hope that those who have taken the pain of typing their questions are uh, well uh, happy with the answers and if you have more uh, queries you can still write to us no problem coming to this question basic anatomy we will learn so basically the spine looks like this see whenever the pictures are there we see like this and we think that it is only just the bone actually it is not the bone it is a bone which is containing most important thing which is the nervous system okay so this first one is called as atlas second one is called as axis and these are called as cervical vertebra these are called as thoracic vertebra these are called as lumbar vertebrae this is a fusion of many bones which is called as sacrum and then there is a tail bone monkey bone which somebody had written no that is called as coccyx okay so it looks like this this is the front view this is the side view and this is the back view okay here you can see the curvature of the cervical spine should be like this the upper back should middle back should be like this and the lower back should be like this finally the sacrum and coccyx should be like this okay i do not know if anybody has any questions please transfer the questions to the chat box here the organizers i would be happy to answer their live questions also not a problem now the thing which you saw in this previous picture same thing in mri looks like this so in the mri you can see the vertebral bodies these are this blocks no rectangular blocks are called as vertebral bodies and the burger patty like thing is called as the disc and inside that you can see here the brain the brain stem and then the brain stem continues as something called as spinal cord so inside this beautiful spinal column we have spinal cord okay now what happens to the spinal cord before that we will understand that these things are beautifully assembled together with the help of beautiful things called as ligamentum flavum supraspinous ligament interspinous ligament now this is the kind of needle which goes inside for local anesthesia in cesarean section so as you can see here what happens is this needle is going to injure these ligaments for a while and that is why these ligaments when they are healing may produce some pain sometimes it may touch a nerve or a two and because of that you may have pain but over a period of time generally all these things should subside now this front portion is a sturdy portion which is the vertebral body and in between the vertebral bodies there is something called as intervertebral disc now when this intervertebral disc it is in the form of circles can you see that okay if this circle is broken the inside gel will come out which is called as nucleus pulposus which comes out and it may produce disc bulge and through that there will be pinching of the nerve and that is how we all feel pain due to disc bulge okay even it can bulge inside this bone also okay so that is a different diagnosis and in during that time the pain will be central when the disc is bulging out into the nerve it is called as sciatica or radicular pain if it is somewhere else if it goes into the bone itself then there will be central pain there will be some people telling central pain i have only pain in the back i have only pain in the back many times it happens so because it is going to destroy the bone here and bone will be painful that area is highly painful okay now the later part of the the lower back is very interesting why because uh, this local anesthesia cesarean section this goes in this area because the cord ends here at l1 okay so l1 l2 l3 l4 l5 this is how it, they are named lumbar 1 lumbar 2 like that 
and the sacrum s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 like that so we put the needle here that time we get the water from the central nervous system for analysis or for local anesthesia also we can use there okay now this is a ct scan you can see how it looks this is that bone which we were talking about the sturdy bone from this area the nerve root will pass out okay centrally there will be cord and then from that here this area the nerve root will pass out can you make out something which is like here can you make out that is the nerve root i will show ah see here so this is called as disc bulge okay you can see here annulus fibrosus which we discussed circular thing and nucleus pulposus will come out and when it comes out it will press the nerve it will not only press the nerve in the central region it will press the nerve which is going out can you see here this nerve is getting pinched okay and because of that we will have pain so sometimes this will heal on its own sometimes it does not sometimes these bones also these bones also become heavy these bones also become heavy why because of aging okay and that is called as facetal hypertrophy these are called as facet and that is called as facetal hypertrophy if you read your mri you will find all these words even you will find the word which is called as hypertrophied ligamentum flavum it means that ligamentum flavum also has become big and it plays a huge role in pressing the thecal sac or pressing the nerves together okay now you see here how brain then spinal cord and then slowly slowly the divisions the nerve roots these nerves they supply the whole body and through that from tip of this finger we get the information going to the brain and from the brain the information will go through these nerves and if i want to hold my mobile i will hold like this because my brain told me to do so why because i heard a ring tone like that so all the things are in a beautiful synchrony beautiful synchrony just like it happens in the orchestra okay just like it happens in a kacheri all the singers the players all the artists they do it together in synchrony in bharatnatyam dance that happens all the brains are synchronized together one is playing one is listening another one is dancing that all this synchrony happens through this beautiful apparatus okay so this is how this only we saw the nervous system part in that in a very delicate manner blood vessels are supplying oxygen and glucose and the galich blood the venous blood is going back to the lungs red is fresh blood blue is dirty blood okay and through this you can see the small small very beautiful hair like structures the nerve roots and then they combine together they form a nerve then those nerves come out and then they supply okay these are the muscles also of the neck some few muscles are shown just to demonstrate you okay i do surgeries on these things i open i see i do some of my videos of surgeries are also available on my channel so you can see here at every level there is some beautiful different kind of play going on you can see the designs are changing see the initially the design is like this then it changes in this manner then suddenly the cord disappears and only nerve roots are there so it, it's a very and there is some empty space at the end so these things are quite interesting that how all these things happen how they perfectly come out and how they perfectly distribute and how this full play of our existence happens okay there are few more slides i will fast forward okay so this is uh, spinal these are the muscles of the spine you should understand that why muscle spasm happens somebody had asked me you no know, that why muscle spasm happens so this is the reason for muscle spasm because whenever the nerve get gets pinched here because of the disc it will directly irritate this nerve and this nerve in uh, we know no when when a senior person becomes angry on the junior the junior will become angry on the further junior person and this anger will get transferred the office anger will get transferred at the home and home anger will get transferred at the office and we know all these beautiful jokes so same thing happens here 
the nerves get pinched here the muscles will get into spasm once the muscle will get into spasm the bone will move because muscles are attached to the bone and once the bone moves once again it will tighten so this is a vicious circle and for that very basic important aspect of yoga what is that relaxation sthiram when we stabilize ourselves and when we relax shithilam so shithilikaran is extremely important if you want to get relief from your spinal problem okay so basic idea from this picture you should get that that there is an intricate play between nerve muscle and the bone okay if you know this then definitely you will be able to succeed in your yoga therapy once again another view see this is how this is spinal cord beautiful rootlets joining together to form a nerve root and this is how it comes out this is the disc see if disc gets bulged out here it will directly press the nerve okay so that is how it will happen okay and this is where i do surgery if surgery needs to be done in this a very small place i go and i remove the disc here okay now this is how the nerves they come out and they supply the muscle they supply the skin okay there is something called as myotome means supplying the muscle there is something called as dermatome so when i ask people no you many of you have come to me also i ask where do you have pain because depending upon your pain i can visualize that maybe at this point the disc is bulged okay and this is the picture elaborate picture so even if the pressing is here the l4 is coming down till here the l5 is coming down till here this is s1 so we come to know if somebody tells no that from here till here doctor it is placing pressing it is paining why because the pinching is here but the nerve is supplying till here the influence of the nerve is still there okay so that is how we come to know in the hand also c5 is still elbow and then c6 is still index finger so through that i come to know that most probably it is c5 c6 disc most probably it is c4 c5 disc or something like that i come to know okay see here the beautiful spinal cord every level there are some intricate changes which are going on okay the design of the spinal cord changes depending upon the level at which it has to supply many organs many muscles and most important part of the skin or something like that because of this there will be beautiful changes it it is not homogeneous every part of the body has beautiful uh, difference and uh, when we open the spinal cord it does not look like this it is a pictorial rep representation of what exactly is ascending tract means the sensory part sensation are taking taken up and understood at brain and then execution through motor part okay so these are yellow is motor and red is sensory okay motor means moving the muscles and sensory means feeling of the touch okay hot cold pricking not pricking all these things vibration so this is what it looks under the microscope okay ha huh. another thing in yoga abhyas we need to understand this uh, reflex okay whenever we contract a muscle other muscle has to relax if the other muscle is not relaxing the contraction of one muscle will lead to problem and when one muscle is getting stretched the other muscle will contract so there are many things which happen uh, i don't want to go into details of this but it is happening directly at the spinal level however if we want to have a deeper stretch in yoga abhyas we need to instruct from above from the central nervous system to the spinal cord saying that please relax this muscle so that i can stretch more and for that the instruction has to pass and for that we need to have some patience some patience means at least some 1 minute 1 and a half minute of stretch will give the muscle a memory that this needs to be stretched when we are putting this like this so that then we will be able to hold in position sthiram sukham asana okay so this is what is explained indirectly through this thing pin if a pin is there our leg has to move away for that one muscle has to contract other muscle has to relax or stretch okay so this is how all these things happen sir so pictorial representation directly these kind of things are not seen 
the dissection part is different okay so here you can see joint sensation vibration pressure discrimination touch and uh, here temperature pain touch deep, pre deep pressure here the motor part ctls means cervical means hand thoracic means trunk lumbar means legs and sacral means important areas of the reproductive system and the perineal region okay now you can see at various levels when we get paralysis we see this kind of deficits i think it is of no use to you people but if any go into the details of this later on you can go through this slide you will come to know what is happening and various different kinds of paralysis happen and through that only i come to know that most probably the problem is lying there before even mri is done however mri gives me confirmation that this problem is happening how to take care of the spine this is what all of you wanted normal spine and scoliosis so scoliosis looks like this this is how we measure the angle and if angle is too much then probably surgical correction may be required or else if angle is less then we can correct it through braces and through particular yoga bhyas suppose if the spine is bent like this we can in raise this hand and then do ardha kati chakrasan through that and then through various vakrasan various twisting postures we can try to correct this posture okay like that somebody had asked about obesity how obesity plays a role excess of upper body mass causes direct compression and load on the spine one the abdominal fat will lead to shifting of the center of the gravity forward and through that there will be strain on the lower back and you can see the facet joint which i was talking about and through this hole actually the nerves pass out and when these facets will increase the disc will bulge and all these things if unequal pressure is there disc will definitely bulge out and that the time nerve will get pressed so prevent that by reducing the weight and then you will tell doctor sir you are telling running is not good cardio is not good then what to do for that even our breath control will help us to control weight one second thing is food control diet control that also will help us to improve upon our weight okay there are many simple simple asanas also which will help us to reduce weight without harming the body without harming the joints okay now somebody had asked please mention about sitting posture so this is about sitting no bending no hyper bending then not using mobile like this while walking never use mobile sitting and bending like this should not be done keeping an erect posture try to find out the center of gravity of your body it is extremely important for athletes for gymnasts they want to they have to learn to identify the center of gravity of their body which can be done through regular practice of tadasan don't underestimate the importance of tadasan because just this is a, just a standing posture no in tadasan you will get samadhi also okay that much of power is there in tadasan please do not underestimate if you would have seen my many of my asanas which have evolved around tadasan okay so please tadasan focus on tadasan okay now posture for ladies please avoid using high heels as you can see here there is increase on the forefoot by 76% when somebody is wearing 3 inch heels and 57 and 22% depending upon the height and you can see that unnecessary hyperlordosis is just similar to this which is happening even if a person is thin the posture is getting disturbed and the center of gravity will move so it's not good to wear high heels if you are wearing please avoid wearing this is how to sleep get nice pillows use nice pillows like this see the neck neck bending so many of you ask now after waking up i get this kind of problem so because your neck may be like this because your neck is not supported so support your neck with particular kind of pillow depending upon how your body is requiring it it's not like just we have to copy this you find out what is happening okay how to lift a weight without bending the back most of us will lift like this please do not lift like this use your spine correctly or else take help do not use your ego to lift the weight use 
cooperation and try to seek help and then uh, get the weight lifted whenever you distribute the weight it is always easy to lift okay this is the example of excessive bodybuilding ronnie coleman he developed cervical problem he underwent surgery after that once again his body was so stiff that his implants got broken he had to undergo surgery again now he is wheelchair bound so called eight times world mr world Champ championship okay so it means that not everything is green on this side of the health industry i can explain the similar things about running as well okay cigarette smoking i hope most of you might not be smoking but if somebody is smoking please tell them that smoking is not only causing cancer it can uh, do anything to your body including the disc problem one of the most important causes is smoking okay then office syndrome when we are sitting in the office if you come and see here my everything is in such a way that i do not have to look down much and i am trying to keep the distance between my neck and the this uh, sternal notch more so that i don't bend down i am aware of this distance continuously the meta awareness which i was speaking about if you go back to the video you will come to know that i am maintaining this distance because that is how only we'll keep our neck properly another thing is alignment with the shoulder your ears should be in alignment with the shoulder and your shoulders should not droop your shoulders should be opened up for that regular abhyasa is extremely important and the real, your elbows also need to be supported your legs also need to be supported and you should do practice for lower back pain for joint issues and you should learn to stretch whenever you are slightly free every 45 minutes to 1 hour you should give your body some stretch okay you should massage your head region you should massage your neck region you should give yourself some kind of stimulation so that the body becomes relaxed for at least 5 minutes you should take a break in 1 hour it will improve your efficiency there is nothing called as i was sitting with fevicol on on my chair nothing it is bogus your dedication is not proven by how long you were sitting in the chair your dedication is proven by how efficiently you have worked on the chair even if you are sitting only for 45 minutes but you have done a work which other person is doing for 4 and a half hours then you are more efficient than other person so efficiency is the key and for efficiency you should not have pain and for you not to have pain you should definitely take a break 5 to 10 minutes every one hour okay for the eyes also one should close the eyes and rotate the eyes clockwise anti clockwise one may go and have a splash on the face that also can be done corona pandemic and spine issues i saw many strange things because of excessive screen time because of lack of physical activity because of domestic violence so many things i saw i am very um, hurt and that is why my uh, yogic campaign has taken a very different turn i have indulged myself too much into yoga abhyas because i am seeing that as human beings we are behaving worse than animals that is why i am coming daily live on your uh, on the youtube channel that is also one reason maintain a healthy diet and weight remain active under supervision of your health professional avoid prolonged inactivity or bed rest very important never listen to the doctor when doctor says that go for a bed rest bed rest means does not mean that you have to completely go for bed rest warm up or stretch before exercising physical activities such as gardening somebody had asked for gardening no sir please note this down do some stretches do some yoga abhyas and then go for gardening maintain proper posture wear comfortable low heeled shoes sleep on a mattress of medium firmness to minimize any curve in your spine soft mattresses are good for uh, your comfort but they will destroy your spine L take it in written writing from me lift your knees keep the object close to your body and do not twist while lifting recently i got a cricketer to visit me and uh, that cricketer uh, he lifted the ball and he, in style he wanted to twist and throw his uh, spine got twisted and he has a huge disc because of which he has to undergo surgery quit smoking smoking impairs blood flow resulting in oxygen and nutrient deprivation to spine tissues work with your doctor to ensure that your computer workstation is ergonomically correct 
ask your hr wherever you are working ask your hr to call for a doctor and see the ergonomics of the office chair for all of your uh, employees okay please do that how to avoid surgery this is the question which everybody wants to know and answer has been given by patanjali thousands of years ago prayatna shaitilya ananta samapatti prayatna shaitilya ananta samapatti when we are doing effortful relaxation just like lying down we have to with effort we have to relax at that time we will get ananta samapatti ananta means enormous benefits we will get and that is where is the crux of matter in yoga we need to learn to relax in posture all of us we try to ah oh, oh, today morning also when session was happening uh, people were making sounds and they were doing no that is not yoga that is you are fighting with your body should not fight prayatna shaitilyam shaitilya is extremely important patanjali's yoga sutra are like what i could, what i can tell they are like 1000 kg in one uh, small cube okay it's very heavy just reading and enjoying the meaning of uh, sutra is not important the execution of the sutra in our life is extremely important so i hope that how to avoid surgery if somebody asks you you give this answer prayatna shaitilya okay through that only ananta samapatti okay so for that yoga nidra for all patients of mine i give yoga nidra which is for chronic pain and we play between pain and pleasure when we enjoy the pleasure we should also enjoy the pain and for enjoy the pain we have to relax the body and then we will get release from the pain okay so yoga nidra is one of the most efficient practices in for prayatna shaitilya okay if i have to tell very uh, mechanically appropriate rest paraspinal muscles relaxation corrective yoga asanas pranayam mudras yoga nidra kati basti griva basti and marma chikitsa these are all very beautiful things and i have shown here also no to you where where it went ha this slide so this will give you the idea that why it is extremely important to relax the muscles somebody has to loosen up and that is the muscle which has to loosen up okay and who can instruct the muscle to loosen up our brain okay so i i am almost done okay don't worry <clears throat> so yogic correlation you can go to my uh, youtube channel where i have spoken about mudras for neuro endocrine system where all the nervous system and endocrine system discuss together you can go through go through my uh, video on spine and spirit it is in two parts yoga kshema foundation had invited me at that time uh, spine and spirit you can go and see a uh, lot of information is there about what is the spiritual correlation of the spine problems and why yoga finally i am i am almost finishing okay don't worry what is the convenience what is affordability what is inconvenient and what is expensive we all know that surgery is expensive we all know that be- uh, bed rest is convenient and it does not have any uh, it, it does not cost anything so it is at the zero point yoga retreat centers are slightly expensive but however convenient for the spine yoga on the other hand is highly affordable and highly convenient if practiced properly inexperienced chiropractor is affordable however it can cause inconvenience to your spine surgery can become inconvenient and expensive also so we have to keep this graph in mind this is a unique graph i have recently created it you can just ponder over it you can add the points in it you can contact me and tell me sir we can put these things also in between where the nutrition can go where so many other things can go i will be happy to have feedback from all of you about this graph thank you very much for your patient listening i don't know how many people are listening but uh, yes it was a great uh, session with all of you i could revise all these things with all of you definitely it is going to improve my practice also and i enjoyed your questions i enjoyed your curiosity please keep being curious please keep practicing and try prayatna shaitilya
and enjoy ananta samapatti vidyam thank you very much thank you dr mayur for a wonderful session and i think even the questions that we got were i think most of it you had covered in your questions okay so and i'm sure the participants would have known that yoga is not just for the body but it is just beyond the body yes yeah, it is more uh, to do with your mind yes yeah, yoga is all about calming down the mind so and like yes. dr mayur yes. said and like dr mayur said it's uh, important that you also learn from an experienced yoga therapist yes. not just look into any youtube channel yes you can watch his youtube channel and for those of you who would want to consult him we have given his uh, youtube channel name as also his email id is given so please do contact him in case you have any health issues any issues with the spine you know whom to contact and also for yoga therapist yoga bharati conducts different yoga sessions for wellness for specific health issues also so you could contact our yoga therapist also so thank you all for a patient hearing of the session so let us end the session with the shanti mantra praying for the welfare of everybody palm sen namaskara mudra om sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya सर्वे भद्राणि पश्यन्तु मा कश्चित् दुःखबाग भवेत् ओम शान्ते 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 जेंटली बो डाउन एक्सप्रेसिंग योर ग्रैटिट्यूड टू हायर रियलिटी your parents gurus gently come up so thank you dr mayur for a wonderful session thank you very much thank you once again all I for think, a patient uh, raghuram ji is also listening so namaste yes. to raghuram ji also namaste to everybody thank you very much and please keep the higher goal in mind and through that i wish that all of us achieve that cosmic consciousness and uh, justify the human life given to us thank you very much yeah thank you all namaste